Welcome to From AMIA to Armistice, a series of podcasts commissioned by UCL Institute of Education. I'm Simon Bendry, Director of the UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours Programme. In August 2018, students from across the United Kingdom joined students from France, the United States, Canada and Australia on the Western Front to commemorate the Battle of Amiens. This series, recorded largely on location during that battlefield tour, tells the story of the Battle of Amiens in the wider context of the First World War and the road to armistice. In this podcast, we hear reflections from the group representing Northern Ireland on the battlefield tour. Hi, I'm Katie and I'm from Northern Ireland. The Amiens 100 trip was important to me because with all of the different nations coming together, it symbolised what the Allied forces did in the actual battle, which was they all came together and helped each other and fought for a common goal, which was eventually achieved. By everyone coming together, it shows that peace is still among us. During the service that we had today, there were some German representatives, so that strengthens my point even more. The fact that peace is something that can be easily achieved once you put your differences aside. This is quite linked to where I'm from because at the time there was a lot of dispute between Protestants and Catholics. So with people from different nations uniting, it gives me more hope that the problem in Ireland and Northern Ireland can be resolved sooner. Jirich is Mr. Junani Coleman. Hello, my name is Juna Coleman. I come from more of a Republican background. This trip really helps me understand what all my relatives went through. You see, in my community, we don't really talk about what happened at World War I because so many Catholics and nationalists went to fight and we didn't actually achieve home rule that we were hoping to get out of it. So it's kind of shamed upon. But nowadays it's starting to be remembered like it should be. It was good for me because I really wanted to see what they went through and that they really do deserve all the respect that they need. My great-great-grandfather, he went to World War I. He was a sniper and he survived. But we don't really talk about him because he went to World War I. Whereas my other great-great-grandfather, he fought in the War of Independence and we talk about him more. So the fact that now I understand what he went through, I can really show my family that he should be talked about and that we should give him more respect and that we should be thankful for what he did. Hello, I'm Aoife Marley. This Amion trip has really been good for me because without this trip, I wouldn't have known that my great-great-grandfather fought in World War I. I was the first person in my family to actually see my great-great-grandfather's name on the Thiepville Memorial for the Amion trip. I had to research two stories of people that fought in the war. My cousin told me that my great-great-grandfather had fought in the war, so I was able to get her help and research him. His body was never found, so his name is on the Thiepville Memorial. I was able to research where his name was, find it and take a picture with it. Everybody in my family has been really, really proud and supportive. Hello, I'm Claire Grieve from Northern Ireland. The reason I really wanted to come on this trip is that history is very important in my family. We were always encouraged to have an interest in it, even from when we were young. Some of the things I really enjoy about history is that you can learn a lot about people, and it's one of my greatest sources of inspiration. Even when the world today seems to be going badly in so many ways, you can look back and see what people did in the past and how they fixed things, what they could do to help, and you can have role models to look back on. I specifically like coming here because it is one of the places where people went wrong quite badly, but also where they went right in many places. Here at Amiens, the coming together of all the different nations, I think that was the turning point into getting everything to go in the right direction. I found it 
inspirational because as the others have said in our part of the world, coming together doesn't really happen much. And it's something that we can take back home, something that we can apply to our everyday lives to help make it a better place. You have been listening to From Amia to Armistice, a Chrome Radio production for UCL Institute of Education. The producer was Katrina Oliphant, with sound design by Chris Sharp. In our next podcast, we hear reflections from the group representing the United States on the Battlefield Tour.